Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are let's playing Dragon Quest V for the Android and iOS. It's the Hand of the Heavenly Bride. And then last episode, we got turned to the stone. We almost saved our wife, Bianca, but we were saved by our children instead. Isaac and Sophie. And yeah, they saved us, although it has been eight long years. And uh, yeah, we're back. Bianca's missing, and our son is the legendary hero. So, yeah, there's no one to talk to yet. So let's come over here and look into the mirror. And damn right, healthy tan, I don't know how I got that. I mean, I've been a statue for eight years. But okay, and here's my children. Yes, it's apparently I'm going to have to save our mother, or your mother, my wife. Yeah, and this is just like when I was a little child, and I, I was journey, and I was going on a journey with uh, Pancrans. So yes, now our children have joined the group, and yeah, I love doing. I'll be doing a lot of party talk. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because it's really awesome to hear the children's reactions to a lot of stuff. So let's check a look at their attributes. My title is the King of Gotha. Daughter and son. Right now it doesn't say legendary hero. We have to actually go and do something in order to become the legendary hero. But we are the legendary hero. And yeah, there's Sophie's abilities. They're both on level 5. More than likely, they will not be joining me in battle for a little while. I need to level them up. But yeah, they're both eight years old. They're a little older than I was, when, or a little older than Kenshin was when he started the journey. So, there you go. And apparently Isaac was always playing pranks on her. Climb off that pillar all by himself. Prince Diane bang that chair. Yeah, you know. So yeah, we have two healthy children. It's great. And unlike Pancrantz, hopefully I will not perish in front of them. One can only hope. So let's go talk to Albert. Oh, look, it's Albert. So he became Chancellor instead, and he's been holding down the fort. How nice. What'd you stumble on? Oh, really? You found my mom's birthday place. Yeah, so she lives north over there. We'll have to go visit that place. Although, right now, I should probably be looking for my wife. Oh, yeah, Lofty Peak. That's the name of the uh, town. Where m my uh, mom was from. Hey, Sancho! Oh, now we can go and sail on the boat. Oh, and they brought Monty here? And a party planner! How cool! Sweet, we'll have Sancho in the group. No problem. He's actually a really good party member. He, he's got some good magic spells. He's kind of like a utility guy. He's really good. And he's pretty much trained the children. I mean, they, they learn from him. And yeah, they don't have a Stolo staff. So we'll have to look for some other way to get Bianca out of being stoned. Hopefully, we can find a way. But yeah, I don't remember if they mentioned that a lot of the castle guards ended up... Uh, I don't know, they kind of went missing. And we'll see a little bit more of that as we look around. But yeah... 
I just want to let you guys and gals know that I will be doing a lot of party talk now, especially since I have mostly, I'll probably end up having mostly human characters in my group now. The boy and the girl, Isaac and Sophie are pretty much going to stay in my group pretty much through the, for the forever. And, uh, Barongo is going to be there. Don't you worry. Sancho is always going to be there. And there's one other character who I'm going to keep. And then I have to find... I gotta find myself a, a healing monster, I think. Yeah. Monsters are pretty... Monsters are pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, so we can't use the money that the kingdom has. That's a bunch of horse shit. And so, yeah, here's Monty the monster monitor. And what we want to do here is I want to drop off a couple. I'm going to drop off Preston. You've been all right. You're out of here. And finally, I'm going to drop off Clayton. Thank you for all your service. Because I'm going to add two human players. Yeah, so... I mean, even though I'm going to get some monsters in my group, I probably won't be using too many more of them. Here's the bank. And I really don't have a lot, but I guess I'll put four grand in. You know what I wish they would do? I think I might have mentioned this earlier, but I wish that they added, uh... And yeah, here's Patty. So let's, uh, add a, add a party member. Let's add Sancho. So Sancho's kind of like a, a tank. He's pretty much like this... He can equip some interesting gear. He usually has hammers. He's very slow. But he has some interesting spells, too, so... But yeah, he has some really fun dialogue. Which is another reason why I want to use him. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, you gotta make this place secure. Because, yeah, a lot of the soldiers went missing when they went to go look for Kenshin, I guess. And some of them never came back. It was almost like a quest for the Holy Grail. They couldn't find Kenshin. Which is pretty crazy. And yeah, now that the Chancellor's gone, Prince Albert... Yeah, Jeeves was a bad man. He was a very bad man. He deserved everything that he got. Never ever consort with monsters. Unless it's me. I can consort with them all day. But yeah, there's our, there's uh, my cousin Gertrude, and I guess she would be like a great cousin to my kids, I guess, I don't know. But family is family. Yeah, apparently that guy drinks a lot. I don't know, Sancho's a good drinker, then uh... That's all we need. Alright, there's nothing over here. But yeah, in this episode I pretty much plan on getting a new party. And then I plan on, um... I don't know, I'm pro probably going to get a few knickknacks. Excuse me, I'm probably going to get a couple knickknacks. I apologize for yawning. I, I am very tired. I wish I could record these videos earlier. Anyways, if we talk to this guy, his name is Tupence. And he's a, a castle soldier. But, if we talk to him and then we go back upstairs, we can actually recruit him in our party member. He's actually a pretty good guy. He's kind of like, uh, he's also similar to a tank, I guess. He can pretty much equip a lot of stuff. He, it's, he's like the human version of Barongo, if you ask me, or Saber, or Percy, or whatever. He's a human version of him.
The only problem is that he doesn't really get any skills. That's really the only problem. But yeah, now after talking to him, we can recruit. We can recruit him. And I plan on recruiting him because he's cool. And see, the reason why in this game, or at least in this version of this game, yeah, Sophie is the little sister. She was born first, or second, but um, it really is only like a few minutes, so it's not like you're really, really older. But uh, the main reason why I use human party members in this version of the game versus uh, even the Super Nintendo version is because Party Talk. Party Talk is amazing. Party Talk shows you a depth to characters that you wouldn't get if you just brought monsters. And don't get me wrong, a lot of the monsters are better than some of the characters we have in the group. But because we can actually talk with the characters in our group and get their interesting takes on everything, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Anyways, Tupence, he starts off with some decent equipment, <clears throat> but he starts at level one, so we're gonna have to level him up. And in between this episode and the next, I'm, I am gonna level up some characters. But let's start by giving some new equipment. Flowing dress to Sophie. Let's see. Uh, Z Robe of Serenity. I don't think anyone can equip that. No. Nope. Let's see. Zenithian Shield. Yeah, I give it to the my son. And then I think he has the Zenithian Sword. I don't think this is better. Yeah, no one can equip it. Yeah. Now the Zenithian sword can actually be used as a um, item in battle to get rid of any kind of status uh, effects on the enemy. Like if they do a defense or something, or they do, let's say, bounce or something, you um, whatever, you can actually get rid of that, which is really nice. And that's pretty much it for right now, that I can think of. I can't believe two pence can't be equipped with a magic shield, though. Yeah, and Sancho comes with some ridiculously ridiculous equipment. Let's see, there was a couple other things I wanted to check out. Oh yeah, so anyways, I'm going to show you how to get the monster chest set in the next episode. Uh, in case you didn't collect it up to this point. Pretty much, I think what you want to do is have two pins in the group, have them fight in a battle, one whole battle, and then get rid of them, and then he'll give you the, uh, he'll give you the, uh, the monster chest set. Because his father was... Excuse me, his father was through pins, and he, uh, gave him a, uh... He gave him the monster chest set, I guess. He was really good at it. And apparently he disappeared, which is kind of sad. Yeah, Loftians have the power to he to turn evil... To turn monsters good. And apparently Sophie has that ability. Nope, I got everything, Sancho. I think we should be good. Yeah, so I'll probably be, um, I won't be using the group that I have right now in battle, but for in general, I'll probably be using a combination of the son, the daughter, Sancho, or Tupence, and maybe even Barongo. Barongo will be in there. Yeah, so she really lives in the sky. Yeah, she'll talk to us because I'm here. Yeah, I can't believe it. You know, I mean, my dad and I had trouble 
holding the sword, and she can hold the sword pretty good, so that's really amazing. Or he can hold it pretty good. So anyways, let's head off into the world. And the first thing I want to do, honestly... Yeah, it's, it's nice to be traveling with friends. We're going on a journey. We're going to find clues to my grandma, of my mom, and maybe I'll be able to figure out what the hell's going on with the world, I guess. Alright, so we're going to keep Isaac in, even though he's pretty much going to get his ass handed to him. He's on level 5. Alright, so what I want to do is... I want to go over there. To the west. To Northminster. This is this is called Northminster. And yeah, before I go in here, let us uh, change up our party members. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to be swapping between Two Pence and Sancho. When it comes to talking... But the son and daughter will hopefully always be here. Yeah, well, you would let you're the let. You know what? It's better that you didn't do anything because if you got turned to stone, then it would have been all all kinds of crap. Yeah, people have to rewrite stuff, and that's a huge pain in the ass. Yeah, I can't believe that he he uh, he he thought that the monsters would do him any good, honestly. But here we are in the third generation, where we can collect all the uh, the remainder of the um, knickknacks. And yeah, I would love to have some uh, ink, tusk tusk ink. So there we go, we got that. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I won't be around to see if it does. <laughs> well, not really. Yeah, well, I'm glad you guys did. Yeah, they must have took a raft or something. Yeah, he, he was a hell of a guy, Pancrantz. Can you imagine? I bet you, by the way. Although, probably not. I was going to say, I bet you there's there might be a code out there that you can put in to make Papas like one of your party members. Maybe, maybe like a monster or something. I'd love to see what he would do leveled up. Just walking around with him would be awesome. The only time that I can imagine someone would make a hack like that is if they added, uh, if they added something. If they added, like, a hack, that would be pretty sweet. Anyways, what we're gonna do is I'm pretty much gonna go through here to Mount Batten, and then I'm gonna go to Battenberg. I wanna head to Mount Battenberg. So what I'm gonna do pretty much is just go on this... Yes, it is very treacherous. Well, uh, Sophie, I gotta, or whoever the hell you were, I gotta go there. So yeah, okay, here we are over at Battenberg. You know what would be a kind of interesting game? I might have mentioned this. And yeah, this is a pretty cool place. But I might have mentioned this in a, in a, in a previous LP, but you know what would make a great side story to this game? Or like a spin-off game is if you got to play as Pankrantz. Maybe he had like a little adventure before he met my mom. You know, and maybe you got to see him as a young dude. That'd be a cool uh, game. Someone get on it. That and Ortega. I'd love to play as Ortega. You know what? Make a game called Dragon Quest Fathers. 
and put all the cool dads in the game and get to play as them. Maybe it'd be like Dragon Quest Heroes, but in like a weird alternate dimension. You get to play as Pancrans, you get to play as Ortega, you get to play as Claymore from Dragon Quest Swords. Who else is another great dad? Hell, you get to play as this hero. This hero from Dragon Quest V. He's a good dad. What's another good dad? Hmm. Dragon Quest. Let's see. You get to play as Baron... Baron... Whatever the hell his name is going to be in Dragon Quest V. Why the hell not? And yeah, here we get a bat and binnacle. This is why we have to come back here. Because I want to get this. Now this thing is an item that you can use in dungeons to find out where you are. It's really not that important. But yeah, you have to come all the way back up here just to get one. So, there you go. And yeah, this kid still won't eat anything. I'm surprised it's the same kid. It's been eight years. He's probably a teenager by now. Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to eat all kinds of grub. But yeah, you can make it like Dragon Quest Dads. Get it done. So I want to make it, alright? I want to play as... I want to play as Papa, so I want to play as... Ortega. I want to play as Claymore, even though technically you do. I want to play as, uh... B uh, Bornico. I think that's what his name was. And any other dad that I might have missed. This hero. That'd be a great Father's Day thing. Look, dude, I just want mon my money. I just want my money. Don't worry, I won't be spending all my time finding knickknacks. But I would like to, uh... I would honestly like to be able to get some money from getting people over here. Hopefully that happens in this generation. So let's find ourselves the, uh... Let's see... Let's use this. And here we are. Now, I don't know exactly if these are the proper uh, items to put down, so I I made a mistake of putting them down, even though I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. This probably belongs down here, though. Now, I will be needing to use this ink, this Tusk Tusk inkwell later, too, so... Yeah, let's take this off. I'm, I'm actually gonna wait. Let's see. Where is it? Tusk 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 inkwell. Yeah, okay, this might actually belong down here, or it might belong upstairs. I don't know. I'm actually gonna leave it here. If I need to change it around, I'll come back, but... Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done with the episode here. In the next episode, I am... Well, let's go see if I can get my money. But in between episodes, I'm going to level up my characters a little bit. I'm probably going to head over to Cogburg, and then from there I'm going to head west across the water, and I'm going to fight some really nasty enemies, but they give you some good money and good experience. I'll probably show off a couple battles when I, uh, when I come back. But yeah, I'm going to stop the video here in the next episode. We'll be leveled up and ready to roll, get some more knickknacks, and then head off to Lofty Peak. I've been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.